Hey guys, welcome along. So I've got a quick sim match against Gillingham and the Capital One Cup and we'll win this game 2-1 goals from Gonzalez and McManaman and we signed Josh Meekings, the defender from the Scottish League. He's 21 years old, 2.8 million and just he can go anywhere along the, the de defensive line and that's the reason why I signed him because he just reminds me of like Phil Jones in a way. They're just a very versatile player. He could even play midfield if he wanted to, you know, in the Bakuna position or the the fuckable position, and I wanted to see where Bakary Sacco's gone. He's gone to Swansea, so yeah, we had no chance in signing him. All these other teams were competing for him. They had a lot more, lot more money than us. And Oscar Goburn, Goburn will be featuring in this episode as well. You'll see what we will be doing with him. But Fabrice Fockable, our new signing right there. That's what the way kit looks like, if you didn't know. But Martin Olsen on the right side, and I have been signing a lot of defenders, and that stops now. Because I just wanted to set, you know, the good foundations for our team and, you know, a good confident defense works its way up the field. And I think the front three are pretty good anyway. I don't really need to change them. I've already got lots of reserves anyway. But you can just see the front three, Lua Lua, Makinok and McManaman. We've had lots of chances. You'll see in this game, we've got lots of chances. There's Omar Gonzalez and Rykovic, two defenders. But, you know, the, the Norwich squad... No real change there, it's pretty much the same same team, but you always look at the front three or four with Houlihan there, that's a big threat, you know, very fast players, Basong and Turner, very big defenders at the back, so presents lots of challenges for us, make your knock there, and we're under pressure right from the start of the game, Gonzalez, a nice turn, Fokkabur comes back as well, just in case, you know, he's very defensive minded, so he always wants to help out, doesn't he, and Rykovic is starting, starting up an attack, and we work well from the wings, and that's Josh Meekings, who just passed it to make your knock, Who's come back a lot? Making an Oculus came back. You know, good strikers do that. Cavani does it. Comes back and then attacks. But good tackle in the middle of the park from Fokkabu. Remember, he's a centre back, not a not a defensive mid or a midfielder. And he just turns the defence into attack. And you know, a good opportunity for I think that's Macarthur, but nothing from that. So yeah, as I said before, lots of chances. Good pressure, by the way, makes the notch defender clear it. And Fokkabu, you know, just reminds me of Essien in a way, just starting up attacks from the back. And then you can see him getting more advanced here. You know, he's outside the box. He's getting involved in that play. So, yeah, just pretty much a box-to-box -box player. That's that's what they do. And just covering well, good composure. Now we start up a new attack. Omar Gonzalez, that's a benefit of having good, fast defenders. So that little play run there, or that run there, had no was no trouble for me because it's just easy for Gonzalez to run in this game. You know, he's very fast, agile, for his height as well. And make not gets a good header in. And as I was saying before, we're getting lots of chances, just haven't scored any goals. So we will... That will come in the future, but uh, an attack from Norwich, and what are they going to do here? We're, all we're doing in this play is trying to jockey them into the, you know, into a bit of space so we can get another defender in, and that happens exactly right here. So Josh Meekings actually with that tackle, that makes Ben Watson. You'll see him there. He's got the no. That's actually James McLean. Fuckable, as I said, you know, he loves to get forward. Little chip pass. Makinok was on the run. You know, he had a bit of space, but Basong held him back. And a nice, that's like a curved pass to McManaman on the right wing. He crosses it, and yeah, making knocks in there. So we're going to get some chances throughout the season. It's just when we can take them and make goals. And speaking of chances, that was a shot from Fabrice Fockable, but nothing from that. Two defenders clash, bump into each other. But make uh, Rykovic comes back, and there's Bakuna on the right back position. You'll notice I'm not using him in the defensive midfield. I'm using Fabrice Fockable. He was under pressure, so he decides to run forward, which is always a good thing to do when you're under pressure. Uh, Basong, yeah, it's just too strong, so I decided to go in for the slide tackle, and it worked in my favour. Nice, intricate play, you know, very close, and Fokkabul, you know, just, it really worked for me. It worked with Bakuna in the last episode, and it's worked again for Fokkabul, so awesome. I'm going to stop saying that name now, but you can just see it, Gonzalez, you know, high pressure, and I was very impressed with the first half, so I decided to make a change, because, you know, we're getting lots of chances, and I just decided we're going to get more in the second half. So I decided to revert back to Bakuna on the, well, in the middle of the park. Fabrice, I'm going to call him now, was on the right right back position. And I decided to take off McManaman, bring on Espinosa, who has actually got the best stamina in our team. I think he's got 90, 91 stamina. So, yeah, very effective. You know, this next 45 minutes is going to be easy for him. And I just, this is, this is why I want to show you extended highlights earlier on in the season. So you get to show you how the team plays. And what it's like scoring a goal like this, straight from the second half, or the start of the second half. So, obviously, a great goal to score. As soon as the you know the whistle goes, we score a goal. So, that's amazing. But it's good showing you all the highlights before beforehand, because it just shows you that we had lots of chances. And to get a chance 
and a goal straight from the second half is always a good thing, isn't it? So you can tell, you know, by all the chances we had, I was very relieved, and we just got the game underway again. So more pressure from us. Makinok, you saw him go back a bit, but Josh Meekings, look at this. Nice little through ball to get to Bakuna. Bakuna passes. Lua lua has got space. He didn't have a big half last time, didn't he? But a Rabona cross. And no, nothing from there. Ben Watson is not the tallest player. He's about 5'10". But Makinok will come off. He was 6'7". Or he is 6'7". And I would bring on Riera, the player who I referred to as like the Fernando Torres. James MacArthur would come off as well. And on for him would be Alfred Duncan, the cheapest signing I have ever made in the career mode. He's 66 overall, 21 years old, and 220,000 in uh, transfer value. So obviously, you know, he just reminds me of Mintari, Sully Ali Mintari, or Michael Essien, and just, you know, box to box players. And it's going to be very effective. You know, I can't wait to use him in the Premier League if we do get up there. I'm hoping we do. I've been saying that a lot. Lua Lua gets fouled, goes for a bit of a run, and Bakuna slows the game down, passes across the field to Fabrice Fokabu, so very composed play. And the reason, you know, I found a bit of space there, Lua Lua was going to do, obviously go for a cross, Riera, boom. So, yeah, good positioning from Riera. I said in the last episode, just reminds me of Fernando Torres, good positioning, good guile and skill, good bit of flair as well, and a good header from Espinosa. You know, I didn't really know he was that good at headering, I just thought he was a bit of a, like a ball player, you know what I mean? But he actually got a header in, and it was just off target. But here we are, deep into the second half, and Norwich have a good chance there, playing on the in the wing. A good shimmy. It was that good, another good shimmy by Bakuna. And look at this pass here. Goes straight to the Norwich defender. Boom, come back. And he just opens his body up. And nice curler pass to find Lua Lua. He's in space again. And a nice little... You know, turn and then another shot and then a good save from Ruddy again. There's two saves from him. Good bit of form he's under and the pass wasn't on, but the way we dealt with this, you can see here, good little header. Players coming back. That was Duncan who came back and covered. And, you know, this is where we start to get under pressure. So Rykovic passes back to Gonzalez. Under pressure again, we're getting forced backwards, so we just decide to pass back to the keeper who was Lee Nichols and he just boots it. And I thought, this is going to go out of play. You know, that happens a lot. You know, the ball goes for a long kick and then it just goes out of play. But then it actually stays in play and then we... Norwich defender clears it, kicks it out as you would. But Lua Lua, cool spin. I love to see that. Good cross. Crossing's a bit different in this game, isn't it? It's not as overpowered as the last game. Well, you remember when FIFA 14 came out? Crossing was crazy. Every goal came from crossing the O's. Oh, we get a penalty, so... That's all good. Basong, what were you doing? Man, you're a good defender. You should play for Spurs. And as my player was coming out of the box, he just went for the tackle. That's something you don't do, but defenders are under a lot of pressure. It's kind of hard. It's like goalkeeping as well. You know, goalkeeping's a hard thing to do. But Bakuna, I didn't know he would be on penalties. I didn't know if he was good or not. I didn't really change the player roles. But that was it. You know, I wanted to keep the cutscene, you know, looking like that. I didn't want to change the player. And he scores. So, awesome stuff. Leandro Bakuna, one of the cheaper signings in my career modes ever. 1.8 million. 68 overall. Just awesome all-round player. So, we won that game 2-0. And very happy because, you know, we had lots of chances in this game. We had lots of chances in the other games in the career mode. And we didn't get a lot of goals from it, but sometimes when you have lots of chances, you just get a goal, you just get lucky. And that happens a lot with the big teams, you know, they just haven't had the best of games. Had lots of chances, but then they just get a penalty. But full-time scores around the championship, you can have a look at them. But Goburn, yeah, as I said, he'll be featuring in this episode. So just another squad player, and I thought, you know, he's not the best overall, but he will come in handy, and he definitely will improve. In my old career mode, he went all the way to 75, 78, so... Fraser 5i, five, five who I also put in the Goburn deal. I just decided, you know, what if I accepted an offer from him? And actually, that was unacceptable, that offer from Goburn. But, you know, I just decided to accept this offer because 21 years old, 63. You know, he could get up to about maybe 70 at the most, but he'd be 25, 26. So there's no real point. Career mode's got to be fun, so I'm sorry if you want to keep the authenticity of this this career mode is probably not going to happen that much because we're signing lots of good players but also a good challenge from this career mode is signing good cheap players and not just your you know the Kellys or your Lucas Piazons we want to sign cheap players that are you know unheard of in the the FIFA market or whatever you want to call it but Oscar Goburn we're almost there and Nick Powell you saw on the offers as well he actually played for Wigan in a loan spell last season he, he could play anything 
attacking midfielder, defensive midfielder, and striker. But Omar Gonzalez, look at him. He's a beast, isn't he? He's a captain. And on his right is Ali El Habsi, the loyal goalkeeper from Oman. And we're in Bolton Stadium, so we're playing away. I think their stadium in this game is the Sanderson Park. But there, you can see uh, the threat. Uh, Jermaine Beckford, who used to play for Everton, and Baldy. <laughs> Uh, I love for that name, it's so funny. He's, he plays for Celtic in real life. But um, I would do a bit of chopping and changing, so I did bring on James McLean, who's, you know, he's a very good player. He's actually one of the better players in the team. And I haven't been using him a lot. He's 74 overall. Josh Meekings would actually come on on the right, but a good linking pass from Bakuna to start up the attack. Josh Meekings, you see him on the right, as I said before. Fokabu, again, you know, it was worked, but on that occasion, he just slipped up and, you know, didn't, he just pretty much dawdled on the ball. Bolton were actually playing a lot of high tempo, playing a fast bit of a defensive pressure game, and Lua Lua has got the space, and a good little turn by Perch or Shimmy, followed by a shot, which hits the crossbar, good bit of down swerve, or whatever you want to call it, but it was just, we had a good game as well, and I didn't expect to see Makinok on the end of that ball, even though he is a striker, I didn't really value his pace ever when I signed him, I think he's, you know, shocking pace, but... Like Peter Crouch, you know, good positioning as well. And Fokabu, awesome, just a little shimmy. And that actually helped Bakuna. You know, really sorry for saying that name again. It's, it's a cool name, isn't it? Fokabu. But Lua Lua, you know, he's found the space. Pace is not an issue for him. Just go for goal, man. Just, I don't know what was happening here. Obviously, you can tell it's not the best difficulty. It's only professional. No sliders. I don't I don't use sliders. But there's no, there's no real difficulty in this. And, you know, I really want to get into Premier League. And... Definitely when I get up there, I'll be using world class. But we nothing came from that game, nil all. So that's crazy, you know, professional. Sometimes it's hard enough for me. But definitely um, world class, bumping up to world class will make for some pretty interesting episodes in the Premier League. But squad rotation member or role for Oscar. I'm going to call him Oscar now. I don't know how to say his last name. But I cannot, I cannot wait to use him. He'll be a you know average player. But in a few seasons, he will grow. Nick Powell as well. I'm pretty sure he'd be about 69, 70 overall. And that's the reason why I'm signing him, because you saw all the defensive replacements that I signed, and now this is the attacking side of things. So Nick Powell, you see here, 1.2 million. You know, I don't think he's going to get used in Manchester. United. A bit of a shame, because I thought he would be like the next Skulls or something like that. But, you know, he can play in that striker. And there we are, Goburn. So, yeah, he was a bit overrated, you know, with his value. Um, obviously, you pay a premium for... English players, that you know, the value goes up, but, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to chop and change the team, try to find the best possible team, try fit Powell in somewhere, I think he would go on the right, where Maloney is, but, yeah, we've still got about half a month left, and I think I will use that half a month to buy one last goalkeeper, like a reserve goalkeeper, maybe an older goalkeeper with a bit of experience, and, yeah, because remember we sold Scott Carson, but on a more personal note, I have uni exams, and that finishes on the... 29th, or which is a Wednesday, so after that I'll hopefully be uploading a lot more, haven't been uploading lately, and you know, I'll try to do that, you know, every, every day, because obviously no more uni, uni will be done for the year, and yeah, thanks a lot, see you in the next episode, goodbye!